uh, one day I just needed my email password changed because the manager had reset everyone's email password. And so I knew if I called and said, you know, like, hey, I need my email password changed, they'd still run me through the list from top to bottom, and 30 minutes later I'd eventually get an email change or password change. So I called, and they were like, you know, thank you. Uh, this is Alex. And I'm like, right. And they're like, this is Alex. How can I help you? And, uh, and I'm like, I can't read my email. And, and they're like, what? And I was like, I, I can't read my email. And, and they're like, okay, well, what's the problem? I'm like, well, my email? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, I can't read it. <laughs> and then they ran me through the list, and I, 30 minutes later, I got my password changed. <laughs> yeah, get, hooray for outsourcing. Yeah, that, that's, there's, there's all sorts of stories about that. Do we have anybody else that has any comments or questions? Any other hands in the air? Beth, you have anything interesting? Oh, we got another one over here. I don't, I don't know why uh, both of my stories have to do with sex, but <laughs> this, uh, you I, I, I think I'm, right I'll, no, no, <laughs> sorry, no. Um, I was used to work in a uh, call center for uh, Sprint Relay, uh, deaf and hard of hearing, TTY call center. Well, um, half the time you've got uh, hearing carryover and voice carryover where your client may have small amounts of hearing and stuff. Well, your operator is not allowed to to put any inflection whatsoever in the voice uh, when they relay to the, to the person that can actually hear. And we would have this guy every week, like clockwork, Saturday at like 10 p.m., he would call a 900 dial-a-porn number. And we, like, I would come in and I would know a precisely whose phone he was on because you would see, you would see an operator, they were like, it was, you had to have somebody on hand because somebody's sitting there going, Oh baby, oh baby, touch me again. And they'd, they'd have to hit the mute and start busting out laughing. They'd unjack and the next operator would come in and pick up in the middle. <laughs> and, the, and they're like busting out and they're trying not to, try not to assume things and not to say anything. And in the middle of the, in the, middle of the, the call, the, the, the lady on the, on the, the porn number is like, what's going on? And the, the operator's like, uh, there's nothing going on. What can I do for you? Please uh, address the, you know, the, the caller, not me. Like, the voice keeps changing. <laughs> and they're like, uh, the operators ha have, are having technical difficulties. And like, you're having 30 technical difficulties? Because it keeps changing. Like, because we had three people, and they would have to keep changing out. And there was, was some pretty sick and raunchy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and like, half the time, it's like on, mu on mute, and you have like an eight second buffer in there. So, like, if you're busy laughing or you got to sneeze or something like that, it'll buffer the audio, and then you catch up with it. And we, ha we had a uh, uh, manager come over, and he's, he's deaf. And he picks up uh, the earpiece for his um, for his hearing aid, and he's having trouble. He has a speech impairment because of it. And out of nowhere, like you hear the the um, 900 number babe start laughing her ass off because out of nowhere you got you got a guy that's got a speech impediment, and it goes from girl girl to a guy with a speech impediment, and uh, like everybody's busting out. She's like, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this, and hangs up on on the caller. <laughs> And like we're sitting there, like we can't tell our caller that she can't do this, and hangs up. We didn't know what to do, so we just dropped the call. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, yeah. We, that that got me thinking because they have a whole section on deaf relay calls, which are just hilarious. These guys would get into bridges. And here. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to find. Here it is, dueling, dueling relay ops. While on a conf, we get two different relay operators to talk to each other. Apologize for the uh, speed of my uh, ancient... Yes, I heard, would you please repeat from the beginning, please? I have to type back to the caller one moment, please. I don't know what the fuck you just said, little kid. But you're special. One moment, say that. You're special. Continue. You reached out and you touched a brother heart, so I had. Do you think the relay is... One, 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 one moment, please. You say go ahead. The caller has to type back to you. One moment, please. And now I will reach out and touch a brother's penis. Go ahead. Penis? Huh? Go ahead. He 
Yes, penis. Go ahead. <laughs> Midgets are cool. Go ahead. Listening to this relay talk is hilarious. Do the relays know each other? Go ahead. Now let us get them to introduce them. Hi, my name is 8683, female. Go ahead. Hi, my name is We're going to turn it over to Froggy now to do something like draw names or I don't know what's next. <laughs> 